One local nonprofit is aiming high when it comes to helping families with critically ill children. Nine of your sides, Kristen Swilly joins us live now from East 7th Street downtown, where people from throughout the tri state will repel for a reason. Yeah, good morning, Tamika. I can tell you we are on top of that building on East 7th Street, 26 floors up. And even if you are a scaredy cat like me, you can still uh, drop a dock. You can fling a firefighter, even toss your boss, and it's all for a great cause. Joining me now is Nancy Hollenkamp. Nancy, tell me, first of all, a little bit about the Aubrey Rose Foundation. Well, Aubrey was my baby. She had a heart and double lung transplant at 18 months of age, and she got to love life for another 18 or another 18 months. And so when she died, we felt so strongly we needed to give back and help out others. So many people helped us along the way. And through no fault of families, they can go bankrupt because of a sick child. So sometimes they need just a little bit of help. Absolutely. And this is such a cool, unique fundraiser. We've never done anything like this. We've done things inside buildings, other types of stuff, runs, walks. Yeah. Why repel for a reason? Well, we just thought it was so neat. And when we really started planning it, we thought our reason for repelling is all these patients and their families that we're helping. So every repeller is paired with a patient. And so that becomes their reason for fundraising um, so that they can help pay some medical bills for this patient. Absolutely, Nancy. Thank you so much Thank for you. your work in the community and for this event that you're having up here today. Guys, we are going to be down here throughout the morning bringing you live reports from this event. It starts at 9 a.m. Reporting live, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.